hello youtube welcome back to my video uh, in this video i am going to show you how to connect to your uh, remote mysql database from your netbeans id and uh, do some uh, basic operations in that uh, remote database i'm going to show you through netbeans so i have already given uh, two videos how to connect remote uh, mysql and a free java program how to connect your mysql database and how you can get a free uh, remote mysql database online so i'll be sharing my uh, video links uh, below you can have that now let's check out how to connect your uh, remote mysql database from netbeans here we go okay first i'm going to create a new uh, free mysql remote mysql uh, for our testing so i have gone to google and just searched uh, free mysql hosting so i have got a website here free uh, not this one db for free.net i just click that i uh, got the database and sign up section so i'm going to create a, a new uh, database here i am uh, given the username as database name as this one username as this one and i have given my password now let me register after entering my email id uh, so after i have registered i got my uh, confirmation mail from them and i have noted my uh, the server name as uh, this one and before that you have to uh, uh, verify your email id by clicking this one so i have noted my uh, server name the uh, username of the uh, this database name username of uh, the database and uh, password and the port number is this port number is specified here now uh, let's go further to test this so using this command i'm going to connect it to uh, my mysql first from my command prompt so open the command prompt I have shown my uh, website how to connect to remote MySQL from my uh, command prompt. So let me copy to uh, go to the, navigate to the location where I have installed my uh, MySQL first. So I have gone there. Now uh, I'm just copy pasting uh, this information, this command uh, to my MySQL. Let me copy it and just click enter. So we have connected. Now let me check the databases available. Show databases. Yes, I have my database, Genu Java Test Database. Now we are going to connect to this database from our uh, NetBeans server. Let's check that. NetBeans IDE. Uh, going back to my uh, NetBeans IDE, you can see my services here. In my database section, you can see I have already connected to my uh, localhost database. Now I'm going to delete this and connect it to uh, my remote mysql so for that just right click on this uh, let's pick new connection and uh, this is mysql and i have imported the jar if you have not imported just click add and import your mysql uh, jar uh, and uh, just click next and you can see you can uh, provide the host and database information here now i'm going to copy paste all this one the server is this host is this one and uh, password uh, this is the name of database so database name is this one and the username of the uh, database uh, the username is this and the password is this one and the other way one two three i'm going to remember this password and the port number is three three zero seven three three zero seven yes we have all set to connect the database now let's uh, test the connection click on test connection so it's saying some error is there so let's check what is there the error is coming because i think this is uh, because of the jar we have imported the old jar here let me go and add the new jar file so it's here let me add that and try click next and uh, oops we have to update it again so some information is this one and uh, this is the one database uh, and username and password India at the rate one two three and uh, error is three three zero seven and yes let's uh, test now yes connection is succeeded so that error was because the jar which I have imported was an uh, old jar I I am using uh, I am not using that actually. So I have imported uh, the new jar actually. I leave uh, give the link in the description to get the new jar of that. Now click uh, next and uh, just finish. 
okay we have uh, connected to the mysql database the remote mysql database from here okay you can also uh, try some commands from here if i'm going to execute command try show databases yes i have two database now i'm uh, giving use uh, yeah i have two databases here. so this i have successfully connected to this but uh, uh, you won't be having any table in this one so i'll create a new table here so uh, going back to my uh, command line again so i just uh, given the command use this database and check how many tables are there there's no table i'm going to create a new table here create a table the name of the table i'm giving is Gino and uh, the column name is name where care uh, i'm giving the 50 let's try creating that yes that is created now i'm giving show tables query let's see yes the tables has been created now i'm just inserting a value into that insert into genu and uh, the name is the column name and values i'm giving it as uh, genu india so i have created that so i'm just giving select star from uh, genu yes uh, my uh, data is in inside that now i'm going to uh, do a small project here to show that value from that uh, table and show it here in my console now going back to my project section i'm going to create a new project this basic uh, java application project click next and just uh, click finish I i'm all uh, setting as default So this is a simple uh, Java application. Now, so uh, in my website, I have a small program. Like I'm searching for Java program. So here you can see Java program. Where is that? Uh, no, not this one. Uh, MySQL. Let me search MySQL yeah here is java program to connect to mysql database now i'm going to uh, copy the db connect dot java to here in my application i'm going to create a new uh, java file here java and java class here and i'm giving the name as db connect dot java just click finish i have created a oops okay no pro i'm giving the name as gdb connection dot uh, java and the name is db connection so inside this i'm going being going to copy all these files and i have to update my server information here so remote server database name is this one and uh, it will be in the host section and here in the name of the database i am giving it is here and uh, the username of the database is here and the password of the database is this one and uh, the port number is 3307 okay now to check uh, the database connection i have given a small uh, main method here so let me try okay the package name is different just insert a package name to this one now let me try running this file so uh, no it's a null here it means a class not found error again we have to go to my build path uh, libraries add jar now we navigate to location where i have my mysql new okay and now let me run this one yes uh, the connection access is denied for the user okay that is space here one space you see the somewhere there yeah this space because of that okay 
now let me run the Java application what is that now from the DB connection itself let me try running the file yes the connection is successful now uh, in the in this uh, to get the data from the database I am just copying all these uh, all this code to my uh, this main method here let's see no need not to main method copy all things to this table and just give a package declaration and uh, change this to java application one and again the db connection is from okay change this name db connection is from here uh, okay so all is set just copy this one okay now from by using this we can connect to the database so the select star from Gnu and result set uh, string category is name so this is the column name name so let's try running this one now run file yes you can see my name has been printed so we have successfully connected to mysql database remote mysql database i i shown you how to connect uh, from the services section and i have given a small a java application also uh, and if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching